right, here we go. This is a painting tutorial on how to paint the Arch Knight of Hammer Hall Ashqua from the Cities of Sigmar uh, base set, I guess you could say. Um, there is a lot to this miniature, but don't let it overwhelm you. Uh, I know it looks like it's a ton, but we're going to go step by step. We're going to make this as easy as possible, and when you watch it, it does make it pretty easy. I hope it does. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. First off, I want to say thank you to all my YouTube members. You guys are amazing, as always. If this is your first time at the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hit that bell so you get alerted every single time. But without further ado, let's go. Now, obviously, the first thing you're going to do when getting this mint ready is build it. I'm not going to put that on camera because just follow directions, pretty simple. Uh, and then there's different variations you can do for each miniature. So if it's not exactly like the one I have right here, you can make it similar. You can change the helmet, weapons, stuff like that. Um, the first thing we're going to do um, is do Skeleton Horde. Now thin this, put some um, Lamia Medium in there as well if you would like. But don't go overpowering. If you want to make it a little bit stronger on the bottom or on the top, make it lighter on the bottom or on the top. Just do a contrast of the two colors on the actual horse. So if you get this onto some different areas, not a big deal. And again, I spray paint this in white, as you can see, if you didn't notice that. I should have said that in the beginning. Now there is a lot of red on this miniature, the Hammer Hall color, I guess you could say, for the Cities of Sigmar, which I think looks amazing. I think these miniatures, they did a fantastic job on these. I think it looks great. Uh, so there's several areas on the horse and on our War Rider, the Ark Knight, that we're going to have to paint in red. Now we're going to do a lot of this in contrast paints, and we're going to use regular paints as well. We're going to mix and match. So keep your contrast paints close, and if you're using normal paints for stuff that we got coming up later in the video, I use a wet palette and it makes it so much easier. Just put a dobble on your wet palette, thin it down, and you can come back to it. You can come back to it a week later, as long as you have your wet palette is properly moisturized, I guess you could say. Now, on several parts of your miniature, there's going to be some wood, specifically the saddle um, that our Arc Knight is sitting on. So we're going to want to put some of that wild wood on there. Keep the wild wood out because we're going to come back to this color here in a little bit. Uh, for all of your armor on your horse, we're going to be using some Iron Warriors. Uh, again, don't be afraid to slap this on and use a bigger brush to cut down on some time. Um, for the small areas, obviously I'm using a very small brush, size 1 brush, with a very nice point on it to get those cracks and crevices. But for these larger services areas, just get it on there and we'll move on to the next part. Um, for our uh, triangle areas, we're going to put the transfer stickers on later. We're going to use some black Templar on this. There's three spots. There's two spots onto the horse and then one on the shield of our knight. We're also using the same color on all the straps for our knight, we're making it nice and black and dark and, you know, knighty, I guess you could say.
for the trim of our horsey. We're going to be using some Ruin Lord Brass, so this is like the flames coming up off the top of the diamond areas as my voice just cracked. And on the bottom of all of our armor for the horse. And we're going to do a spin around here so you can pause it and see if you miss anything after this shot. So if you need to, pause it, look at it, see if there's anything you missed, if there's anything you need to fill in, because there is lots of stuff to miss on this miniature. I had to go back several times because I missed a spot. No big deal, it's part of the process. For the skull on the front, we're going to use some Skeleton Horde. Nothing crazy about that. And for all of our armor on our knight, we're gonna go super basic on this. We are doing some lead belcher again. Nothing crazy. Uh, most of this knight is in all uh, silver, so you really don't have to worry. Obviously the helmet with the antlers on it is going to be a antler type bone look, so we're gonna fill that in here in a little bit. Now our knight does have some black on it in our uh, belt areas, along with the bottom of the shoes areas as well. You can use black Templar if you want. Um, they're kind of the same color, but black Legion is a little bit darker. There's also some braids coming off of our knight, so we're gonna paint those in black as well. And if you thin this black legion a little bit, if you want to, um, that white will stick out and that automatically gives you a highlight without even doing anything. So that's a little trick I use sometimes as well. For the face, we're going to use some basic Cadian Flush Tone. And like I said earlier, you forget certain parts or you're just not sure what color you want to do them yet. So like the piece of wood that's holding up our pennant, we're going to use some wild wood on that.
going back to our Ruin Lord Brass. We're going to do the brass sections on the little metal piece that's holding up our pennant. And then the top of the stick, or pole I guess you would say is a better word. We're going to use some Ruin Lord Brass as well. We're also going to use this for the helmet of our knight. And again, don't get it onto the antlers. If you mess it up, just paint over it with some white just to uh, make sure we don't get anything crazy on there because we're going to use some contrast paint on the antlers of our helmet. We're also going to use some Ruin Lord Brass on our shield as well, the top part, and we're also going to use this on our sword as well. Um, we also, I don't know if I got the shot or not, I can't remember because this video is long and it, these miniatures do take some time to paint one at a time. Um, the saddle um, spurs, I guess you could say, that his feet are in. I'm going to do that in Ruin Lord Brass. I don't know if that's the right word to use. I don't know. You know, I've never ridden a horse. They're scary. And like I had just mentioned, some skeleton horde on those antlers of our helmet. Back and forth, back and forth. It's the problem with the more in-depth miniatures is you got to go back and forth. For the little olive branch, or whatever it is, fern, I don't know. We're going to use some Militarium Green on that. For the last base color we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some snake bite leather on all of our leather areas. Now you can use this on the other straps if you didn't do it. Um, the black ones, it's up to you. But I'm doing this on all the bottom portions of the red areas for our horsey. And that will be it for all the base colors. With our washes, we're doing, I think, four washes, and all of our metal areas are going to be in Nolan Oil, obviously.
for the Ruin Lord Brass areas, we're going to be using some Agrax or Shade. You could also use this on the Antlers or the uh, Skeleton Skull on the head of our horse if you wanted to. I just did this on all the Ruin Lord Brass areas. For our red areas, we're going to be doing some Karaberg Crimson um, to darken up those red areas. Going to give it some uh, vibrancy. It'll look nice, trust me. And then for the face in the next shot, you'll see it. Uh, we're going to do some Reichland Flesh Shade. All right, the highlighting step is upon us. Now, if you're satisfied the way your horse looks, you don't need to do this, but to me, this seems like the better way to do it. Make your miniature look fantastic. It's gonna take you more time, obviously. Now, miniature painting is not a quick thing. It can be a quick thing, but it's gonna not look as good. Uh, miniature painting is a lot like anything else, drawing or painting on canvas. You get what you put into it. So you put more time, obviously it's going to look better. So you can stop where you're at or you can continue on. And we're going to do all of our Ruin Lord brass areas in Retributor Armor to brighten up that gold area. It's going to look pretty good. And it's going to be a focal point along with the red, I think, with your miniature. And this is what it should look like once you've painted all those areas. Pretty nice. Now for all of our um, knight's armor, we're going to do some iron hand steel. And we're going to put this on all the armor areas. Now don't get this into the crevices at all. Just get it on the raised areas. And your armor, get it on all the surface areas of the armor. Should look pretty good. For our horsey armor, we're going to do a 50-50 mix of Iron Hand Steel and Iron Warriors. We're going to put this on all the armor of the horsey. Now, it's still going to be dark, but it's going to be lightened up a lot. So, it's going to look pretty good. Not as light as the knight's armor, which you kind of want that contrast between the two steel 
um, variations, so it makes it look pretty good. For our face, we're going to use some Cadian Flesh Tone, follow with some Kislev Flesh. You can do a 50-50 mix, or you can use straight Kislev. It's up to you, uh, as you'll see here in the next frame. For our skull and our antlers, we're going to do a 50-50 mix of nothing because it's just straight more gas bone. I don't know why I said that, but I'm not going to edit it out because uh, it gives it some character for the video because it seems like I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we're just going to do this on the surface areas, highlight the teeth, the uh, jaw bone, and stuff like that. For the antlers, just do some edge dressing on it or edge highlighting. And uh, don't go overboard with it, just uh, do a little bit. Make sure your Morgas bone is thin. You don't want it straight out of the pot, obviously, because then it'll be very overpowering, and we don't want that. We're going to do some edge highlighting on those hooves of some basic Dawnstone. Again, nothing too crazy. If you want to do this as well on two of your straps, the black straps that we painted earlier and some of the braids, do this as well. But again, if you had thinned it earlier or not put a heavy coat on there, that white's already sticking through, so it gives you that natural highlight. You can kind of skip it if you don't want to do this, um, but I did it on the hooves for sure because the hooves turned out very dark. Uh, to highlight up our red areas, we're going to do on the raised surface and on the edges some Evil Sun Scarlet. As you can see in that one sh in this shot, there's some pooling of the Kerberg Crimson on the pennant around the horse's neck. I want to keep that there. That gives it some character and some vibrancy and some depth, I believe. So I'm just doing the raised areas that didn't get the soaking of the Kerberg Crimson and the edging. And not going overboard with it, just picking out the highlighted topped areas and the edging is and that's it nothing too crazy on that for the bottom yeah we are already there didn't need too many highlights nothing crazy uh, we're gonna do some Gorthor brown on the bottom and then we're gonna paint the other creatures and then just, you'll see here in a second. For the grass sticking up, we're going to do some Dark Angels green. You can do whatever green you wanted. I just did this one, you know. And for our Mollusk Man, whatever this is, or Shell Man, or... I don't even know what this is. Can somebody tell me what this is? I mean, I, I played Warhammer as a kid, and I like to paint the miniatures. I'm still building armies, but I don't know what this is. <clears throat> as my voice, again, gave up. Uh, but we're using some Agros Dunes on the Shell portion. Uh, the legs, we're going to use some Gilliman Flesh. Uh, just for the legs, then you can see the little uh, elf shoes that our mollusk man or woman or whatever it is, is uh, wearing. 
and you can pick whatever color you want for that. Uh, but I went with some uh, vibrancy in that, and we'll see here in the next shot. I'm going to use some Sigvald Burgundy on those shoes. You can use something like Basilicanum Gray if you want to keep it dull and whatever. Uh, but I just went kind of crazy with it for some reason. Uh, we're going to bright up, brighten up our uh, base. We're going to use some Ushabdi Bone on there. You don't need to do this. It's kind of a, you know, whatever. But we're going to dry brush some of that on there. Followed by some Agrax Earthshade on all of the base. Then we're going to let it dry. But you can do the rim of the miniature. Uh, we'll do here in a second if you want to. Um, but the Ushabdi bone kind of sticks out when the Agrax Earthshade dries. And then obviously I'm going to put a bunch of grass on it, some tufts, um, flowers, or whatever you want to do with it. Well, and then we finally made it. The favorite part of painting your miniature, because it means you're done, is the rim of the base. Obviously this isn't done done because you gotta put your transfer stickers on there. And I didn't put that in the video because obviously if you're making a different army or if you're doing different, there's so many different ways you can make your army. Uh, but that's it. That's pretty good. Obviously you can see this transfer stickers that I put on there. Um, but I mean, it wasn't that bad. From turning nothing into that, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, as always, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, thank you again for all my YouTube subscribers, members. You guys are amazing. If you're new to the channel and you liked what you just saw, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't hurt. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Whatever you got to do. All right. Until next time, we're going to do another horsey here next week. I love you. Bye. Oh, and paint on.